Hello and welcome to our video tutorial for our online education for students 7 to 12 in the Bison BAM program. In this video we'll be discussing our weekly workload, what to expect each week, kind of what, what we need to get done and what I expect from students, our mission and goals with these activities each week, and then questions and troubleshooting for uh, anything you might run into, anything that the kids might run into, and anything that I can help with that uh, I'd be available to do. The most important thing we need to cover is uh, what the workload's going to look like and then the instructions for how to complete that. Every week I'm going to be emailing out instructions for three videos that students are to, to record. They're, they can either use uh, Flipgrid, which they've been trained to do on Google Classroom. Those, those, those assignments will be listed one, two, three. Um, or they can use their phone if maybe something happens. I know we had a few students that ran into issues with the Flipgrid, getting that to work. If they need to use a phone to record that and just email to me, totally fine. We're, we're totally going to work with whatever we need to do to get those things done and get those in. We're going to start really simple. You know, nothing, nothing new, no new material. We're just going to get used to the medium and the new normal of, of what this is going to look like. One thing I think is equally important in this is having a, a goal behind what we're doing, having a mission for uh, the things that we're doing in class. Um, it's, it's important to value everyone's time and, and, and make sure that, you know, the time spent is, is good time spent. Uh, my main mission is to preserve normalcy, preserve the skills that we've built over the year, and, and make sure that we're keeping as much of that as possible. Um, once the weather gets nicer, I'm also planning on, if we are out a little longer, to build new skills uh, and, and sharpen our marching technique and things like that so we can take videos of us outside moving around. So as much of that to uplift people as possible, I think, is a great thing. I know with a lot of this, there's going to be a lot of adjusting to a new medium of teaching and a, and a lot of maybe things that we haven't done before, haven't needed to do before. And that's going to take a lot of flexibility on my part and your part and everybody's part. And it's going to be, it's going to be an adventure for everyone. Uh, but yes, if you have any questions or anything that isn't working, anything that I can do to help, I will do. Um, I, I spent last week delivering instruments to some people that needed it. If you run into something that, hey, I left a piece of music here at school, I mean, I, I haven't seen anything, but if, if it's here, let me know. I, I will get that delivered. We have delivery services available. Um, so anything that you can think of that you might need, just give me a shout. My number is ooh, here, and my email is here. Yeah. So if you need anything, feel free to let me know um, and just support each other in all of this. I think again that, that motivation to preserve normalcy is what's going to be really important to uh, get through all of this and, and come out on the other side uh, better than we were even. I've, I've told the kids a few times, uh, there's going to be two groups of people at the end of this. There's going to be the group that, you know, chose to take the time seriously and do something with it and chose to keep going and, and better themselves. And then there's going to be probably, but I, I hope not, but probably a group of people that, you know, doesn't see it as that, doesn't see it as an opportunity to do something in a different way or, or better themselves in a different way. I'm hoping that we can really set the standard as, as a school district and even as a program in our school district uh, as, as far as what this situation looks like. I think we've got all the tools we need to do and, uh, and I think open lines of communication are probably, that's probably the most important thing in all this. So again, any question you may have, any issue you may have, email me, call me, text me, any of it, totally fine in all of this. So. I want to wish you and yours uh, the best of luck in all of this, and uh, I know we're going to get through this just fine, and I hope that we can be the gold standard for uh, what this is supposed to look like and, and what we're trying to accomplish with it. So, again, thank you for your time, and I'm sure we'll be in touch throughout all of this.